John Kennedy in 1962 at the State of the Union Address said that a child miseducated is a child lost. We cannot lose children in the city of Cambridge. Tonight with us are representatives from our university community and over the last several months, the superintendent, the school committee, and with a strong message from the city council and the city administration have conducted a series of meetings around elevating our current partnership with Harvard University, MIT, and Lesley College into what would be a working group that would take on an accountability for different parts of this school system. We'd like to elevate the partnership to a sense of responsibility for our schools. It's difficult to defend our struggles while we take full responsibility for the struggles in our schools. It is difficult to, to defend those problems in light of the fact that we are in the educational capital of the world. We need our university leaders to step up. We need them to take responsibility with us for our students. We are announcing tonight a charter of responsibility which representatives of Harvard, MIT, and Leslie will come together and shout out different areas of focus that they'll take responsibility for in our public schools. We've had good partnership. We've had good programs. Tonight, we announced that we need accountability and responsibility. As a community, we can achieve success for every one of our young people. Thank you for your partnership. Despite Cambridge's image as an increasingly wealthy city, we should remember that our history in the city of Cambridge, our heart and soul, is around fighting for the, vul for the vulnerable. Cambridge has always been a city of underdogs. We continue to fight for the underdog. Cambridge is at a crossroads right now. As we go forward, we need to remind ourselves each day that we cannot slip into a place of individuality and selfishness. We must remind ourselves that 40 to 50 percent of our residents are below 80 percent of median income still as we stand here today. Our high school represents 39 languages in 75 countries. 15 percent of our residents don't have high school diplomas. 30 percent have graduate degrees. Imagine the economic disparity we face. We as a community can decide what we want to look like. It's in our hands. The room tonight is filled with community leaders, filled with business leaders, university leaders, people who have given their whole life to the city of Cambridge. Tonight I took a look at a picture that an old friend of my family sent to me a couple weeks ago. It was a picture of the Raymond Park midgets from 1927. It was a picture of my dad, uh, a bunch of beat up dirty runts from Raymond Park as part of a midget baseball team in the 20s. I looked at the picture and it didn't look too much different than my picture from my Little League team. There was a couple, a couple of Irish kids, a Greek kid, African American kid, a Jewish kid, a French kid. It didn't look that different. And I started to think about the stories my father told me of how he was molded by this community. The same stories that you heard from your families. How they were molded around integrated schools, integrated neighborhoods, teams, being part of efforts that involve people from all different economic backgrounds, races, uh, and, and all parts of the city. My father told me those stories. Will we be able to tell our children those stories? Ultimately, that's the challenge for the city of Cambridge. We can decide what this city will look like. We can do it as we go forward but we must do it as a community. It's in our hands. I look forward to working with the city's leaders. They give so much of their time and effort to the citizenry. I look forward to working with the university partners, our business partners, our community activists, our non-paid volunteers, our nonprofits, our church leaders, and all those who give so much to this city. Divided, these challenges will be insurmountable. If we come together as a community, it will be achieved, and the city of Cambridge, 20 years from now and 50 years from now, will still look like that midget picture, and you'll be able to tell your children the same stories that my dad told me. Thank you for being here tonight. <laughs> <laughs>